Welcome to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to use Coinbase mobile app. In this video, I'll show you how to attach a payment method. From there, I'll show you where to find the different assets, how to learn a little bit more about them, and how to buy some crypto. Then I'll show you how to sell some crypto back into fiat, as well as how to convert one cryptocurrency into another. All of that and more with some tips and tricks along the way. If this is your first time signing up on Coinbase, I left a link for you in the description of this video, as well as in the pinned comment down below. Feel free to use that link when signing up, and we'll both receive $10 with a free Bitcoin on your first $100 purchase. I'll also let you know that this is not a sponsored video, and this video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. I also left you some timestamps in the description down below, so at any point, feel free to skip ahead to a section that might be most relevant to you. If you end up getting some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. If you need to download the Coinbase app, you can find it on the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store. If you already have a Coinbase account, you can simply download the app and then sign into your Coinbase account. If you still need to sign up on Coinbase, you can sign up using the app itself. Getting signed up on Coinbase is a simple process, but you will have to do KYC, which stands for Know Your Customer. This is due to government regulations. So during the sign up process, you'll need to submit some government issued ID, such as a driver's license or a passport. When I was signing up, I just simply took a photo of my driver's license and I submitted that during the KYC process. If you need to get signed up, now's a great time to pause the video, get signed up, and I'll see you inside the app. Once you sign up and sign into Coinbase, you'll arrive on your homepage right here and you'll likely see a call to action to add a payment method. Now, if you don't see a call to action and you need to add a payment method, just simply tap on these little dots, top left hand side of the screen, then tap where it says profile and settings. And on this page here, tap the button that says add a payment method. Then Coinbase will display the payment methods that are available to you. Now, depending on where you're located in the world, you'll likely have more payment methods available to you than I do. And this just simply comes down to government regulation. Different countries and regions around the world are going to have different regulations, but you likely can attach a bank account. In my case, I can only attach a credit debit card or a PayPal account for withdrawals only. So I just went ahead and used a visa debit. Simply tap on the payment method that you wish to add. So my case it was credit debit card so I'll tap on that. This page here I put in my card details and then I tapped on add card. In the second step Coinbase did two microtransactions with the account that I was attaching to Coinbase. So all I did was sign into my online banking. I went to the account that I was attaching to Coinbase, found those microtransactions, and then relayed that information back to Coinbase and they verified my card from there. It was as easy as that. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on back. To add PayPal we would just tap where it says PayPal. And then you'll be redirected to PayPal where you'll need to sign into your account and then complete the verification from there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on back. And of course, if you're attaching a bank account, tap on that option and just have all the relevant banking information ready so that you can put that information in and verify your bank account. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on back and get us back to the home screen here. Now that you've attached the payment method to your account, I'll show you where you can find the assets, learn a little bit more about them, and how to purchase some crypto. So to do that, we'll tap on trade at the bottom of the screen, right in the middle there. On this page here, just scroll down a little bit, and here's where you'll find the top assets. But if you wanna view them all, tap where it says see all. And then on this page here, what I like to do is tap on all assets near the top, then this pop-up, tap on tradable, then tap on done. Now all the assets that we're viewing are available for purchase on Coinbase. Just simply tap on the asset that you wish to purchase or learn a little bit more about. You can also search for an asset by tapping on the search icon top right hand side of the screen and then just type in the name of the asset in the search bar that you wish to learn a little bit more about as well as purchase. I'll just go ahead and demonstrate with Ethereum so I'm going to tap on back and I'll tap on Ethereum. This will bring you into an overview of the asset. So up at the top we can see what that asset is trading for. Underneath that, we'll see a line chart showing us the asset's performance over a selected time frame. We can find the time frames from the chart just underneath it and simply tap on the time frame that you wish to view. So if I wanted a one week time frame, I'd tap on one week. Now I'm viewing this asset on a weekly time frame. If we scroll down just a little bit further on the page, you'll come across a section that says about. And if you tap where it says view more, Coinbase will give you an in a nutshell description of the cryptocurrency that you're looking to learn a little bit more about. 
If we scroll down this page a little bit further, here's where we'll find some basic market statistics. So in this case here, we can see the market cap of Ethereum is currently at 230 billion. Below that, we can find the 24 hour volume. So the current trade volume is 10.4 billion, which is down 2.84% in the last 24 hours. Under that, we'll find the circulating supply. Below that, we can see the trading activity. And in this case, 79% of people are on the buy side of Ethereum and 20% are on the sell side, at least at the time of recording. Underneath that, we can see the typical hold time. So how many days people typically hold the asset for. And under that, we'll find the popularity of the asset as well. So when we're ready to make a purchase, we just simply tap where it says trade bottom left hand side. Then tap on buy. And this will bring you over to the order form where you can buy the crypto that you're interested in and just simply type in the amount that you wish to spend. So if I wanted 20 bucks worth of ETH, I could do something like that. You can see my payment method right here. Now, if you have multiple payment methods attached to your Coinbase account, you can tap on that. Coinbase will give you a pop up and simply tap on the payment method that you wish to use. If you still need to add a payment method, you could tap where it says add a payment method and then proceed to attach a payment method to your account. I just have the one, so I'm just going to go ahead and tap on back. And once you have this order set up the way that you want it, just simply tap where it says review order. Here's where you can review the details of the order. So make sure everything is as you intended before placing this order. You can see in my case here, the amount of Ethereum I'll be purchasing for $20. We can see the Coinbase fee right here, which is $1.49 in this case. And that's built into my $20 purchase. So if I place this order, I'll be receiving just over $18 worth of Ethereum. If everything checks out the way that you want it, just simply tap where it says place order. And now my order is pending. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on done. And just at the last second there, you can see that my $20 purchase went through successfully. Now that you've bought some crypto, I'll show you where you can find it. Just simply tap on my assets at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. This will bring you into an overview of your portfolio. So you'll see your, your balance at the top here. Then you'll see a line chart showing you your portfolio's performance over a selected time frame. You can see in my case here that I have a sudden spike and that's the purchase of Ethereum that I just made moments ago. Below this line chart, you'll see different time frames. So if you want to view your portfolio in a different time frame, just tap on the time frame that you wish to view. So if I want a one hour, I tap on one hour and now I'm viewing my portfolio on a one hour time frame. If you scroll down just a little bit further, here's where you'll find the different assets that you've purchased and store on Coinbase. So you can see all the different cryptos underneath my crypto, and then you'll be able to see your balances on the right hand side. Now I'll show you how to sell some crypto. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on back and get us back to the home page here. Now I'll show you how to sell crypto back into fiat. To do that, tap on trade at the bottom of the screen. On this page here, up at the top, tap on the search bar just underneath trade. Then select the crypto from this menu here that you wish to sell, or you can tap on the search bar and search for the crypto that you wish to sell. I'll just go ahead and demonstrate with Ethereum, so I'm gonna tap on Ethereum. On this page here, bottom left-hand side, tap on trade, then tap on sell, and this will bring you over to the form where you can sell your crypto. In my case here, we can see my Ethereum balance right here at $73.90. So if I want to, I could sell $20 worth just like so. You can see my payment method underneath, which is set to PayPal. So once I sell this crypto, the funds will be deposited into my PayPal account. If you have your bank account displayed down there, then the funds will arrive in your bank account. When you're ready to review your order, just tap where it says review order. And then here you can review the details. So you can see in my case here that I'm going, I'm going to be adding the cash to PayPal. You can see the amount of Ethereum that I'm selling. We can see that the fee that Coinbase is charging is $1.49 in this situation. And that leaves me with a total sale of $18.51 of Ethereum. If you're satisfied with that, you'd tap on place order. And now my order is pending. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on done. And I'm gonna tap on the home page, bottom left hand side of the app. And now we're back to the home page. Once Coinbase is done processing that transaction, the funds will arrive in my PayPal account. Now I'll show you how to convert one crypto into another. To do that, tap on trade at the bottom of the screen, then tap on that search bar underneath trade, then select the crypto from this drop down menu that you wish to convert, or you can search for it by tapping on the search bar. But once again, I'll just demonstrate with Ethereum. So I'm gonna tap on back, then I'll tap on Ethereum, on this page here, I'll tap on trade bottom left hand side, then tap on convert at the bottom here. 
This will bring you over to the form where you can convert one crypto into another. As you can see, mine's set up to convert Ethereum into Bitcoin. So if you want to change the asset that you're converting into, in my case, I would just tap where it says to Bitcoin, then select the asset that you wish to convert into, or once again, search for it in the search bar. Bitcoin works perfectly fine for me, so I'm just going to tap on back. And now we can choose how much of the asset we wish to convert. I can see my balance to the right of Ethereum there coming in at $58.93. So I could do a custom amount if I want. I could do $20. Or I could just simply tap on this max button right here to convert all of it. Then Coinbase will bring you over to the order confirmation page. So in my case here, you can see the amount of Ethereum that I'm converting. You can see the amount of Bitcoin that I'll be receiving. And you can see that Coinbase is not charging a fee for this transaction. And then down below that, we can see the total amount of this conversion. If that all looks good to you, just tap on place order. And now my order has been submitted. And success, I've converted my Ethereum into Bitcoin. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on done. And I'll tap on the home button, bottom left hand side. And I'm back to the home page. To find that Bitcoin, I come down, tap on my assets next to home. Scroll down the page just a little bit here, and here's where you can see the Bitcoin that I just converted into from Ethereum. Now I'm going to head back to the home page by tapping on home bottom left hand side. Now that you know how to navigate the app a little bit, I'll show you a shortcut how you can buy, sell, and convert your cryptocurrency. Tap on that buy button underneath your balance. Then tap on the cryptocurrency that you wish to buy, sell, or convert. In this case here, I'll just tap on Bitcoin. And that'll bring you over to the order form. You can see right here where it says buy, sell, convert. Just tap on whatever one you want. So we can see we're currently set to buy, but I can tap on sell. Now I'm set to sell Bitcoin and we can tap on convert. And now we're toggled over to convert Bitcoin. And in this case here, we'd be converting Bitcoin into Ethereum. Of course, if we want to change the asset that we're converting into, we'd tap where it says Ethereum and we'd select a different asset. So that's a quick shortcut how to do all the things that we went over in this tutorial. And there you have it, your introduction to using the Coinbase mobile app. If you got some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out some of my other Coinbase tutorials, which I put in a playlist on my YouTube channel for you. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.